Hey everybody, just wanted to hop on here real quick and do an update on the baby since they turned one month yesterday. Um, I'm going to try and make this quick because they are just now going to sleep and I don't know how long that's going to last. Um, but everything has been going good. I can't believe it's been a month already. Um, it, you know, it's been an adjustment for both me and Chris just having these two little babies and getting used to their schedules. But I think overall, not only are they good babies, but um, we've been able to kind of get into like a little bit of a groove time-wise. And they um, they are feeding about every three hours, three to four hours. And in between that is when we will sleep or get stuff done around the house or play with the dogs or, you know, whatever it is. Um, but people ask all the time, are you getting any sleep? We are. It, it's broken up, obviously, but we do get about, I'd say about two hour increments um, at night, which is nice. Um, it's obviously not ideal, but it's, you know, for having two newborn twins, I don't think you can ask for better than that. Um, usually the way it works is Lila will start to wake up, we will change her, and then she'll feed. And then as soon as she's done, um, Caleb gets changed and then he eats and then they go right back to bed. Um, and usually that takes about an hour. So like I said, it's every three hours. So about an hour of that. And then we get about a two hour break ish. Um, during the day, it's a little bit different. Um, it's kind of hit and miss and, um, Miss Lila is, she's not cluster feeding so much as she's just, nursing for a very, very long time, long periods of time. Um, they're both being uh, breastfed exclusively right now. And I have my moments where I just want to stop doing that and maybe just try pumping um, and doing that. I feel like it would be easier, but then I get emotional thinking about doing that and stopping breastfeeding. So I'm just not quite ready to do that yet. Um, but Lila is pretty small still. And we were kind of concerned about her weight gain. Um, our pediatrician was a little concerned um, a couple weeks ago and uh, we've been dealing with a little bit of a latching issue with her. Caleb is quite the good eater. He has no problems eating. He will eat whenever. Um, overall, he's actually just a very chill baby. He's fine to be woken up. He is fine to do whatever. He doesn't love um, to be changed or have his diaper changed. That's usually when you'll hear him cry or when he actually does get hungry and he's waiting his turn, he'll cry. But other than that, he's a very calm, chill baby. Lila, on the other hand, I think part of it is because of the latching problem. Um, that's her, <laughs> our little billy goat. Uh, but talking with our pediatrician, he was thinking that part of the reason that she wasn't gaining as much weight is because of the latching issue. Um, and so right now, the latching is getting better, but homegirl is still hungry all the time. So during the day, sometimes she'll feed for over an hour. The other day, it went for about two hours on and off. Um, she just, we're, we're figuring it out. So, um, but both babies, they are doing well. They are thriving. Um, at their last doctor's appointment, Caleb was weighing seven pounds, 11 ounces. And, um, that was two weeks ago. So I have no idea what his weight is at this moment. Um, and Lila at that appointment was only at six pounds, five ounces. So she hadn't quite gained a full pound from birth. Um, and so our pediatrician had us come in last week to do an extra weigh in just to make sure that she was gaining weight properly. Um, and if not, then we would discuss, you know, different feeding options for her to get her more calories. Hang on one second, girlfriend. Um, but at that appointment, she had gained uh, a few, she'd gained several ounces. She was up to six pounds, 13.5 ounces. So it was a, a move in the right direction. Um, so our pediatrician doesn't have us doing anything different just so long as we're working on the latching, which like I said, it is getting better. So that's really good. Um, but like I said, they're both doing well. I, just to keep this short, will, you know, give you a quick shot of them. And that's kind of it. That's really all I have to say. Um, things with me have been good. Uh, last time I weighed myself, I, I only am two pounds away from 
my pre-pregnancy weight, which is just crazy because um, I haven't done anything. I, I'm really kind of keeping it low key. I still don't feel 100%. Um, I can usually tell when I'm laying down that like my stomach muscles and stuff are pretty shot. Um, so it's going to be a little bit for me to kind of get back into the groove of things. Um, but on top of that, I have an extra 10 pounds of IVF weight that I packed on. Gotta love that extra bloat that it makes you get. So I still have some work to do and I'm looking forward to my six week checkup to get the go ahead to start working out. Um, and I plan on taking things very easy. I have no desire to, you know, lose everything immediately. Um, I, I'm not that person that's going to go overboard with it. I just don't think that's necessary. Um, I carried twins and you know, my body's going to do what it's going to do. So that's where I'm at, but let me show you the babies cause they sure are cute. So there's Mr. Caleb right now. Obviously they're both sleeping. There's Lila. Um, he is in, he's wearing three month, uh, nighties, but he's still in newborn sized onesies, um, and newborn sized diapers. He has little long legs and arms. And I mean, you can tell these are still pretty long on him. Sorry, buddy. Did I startle you? Um, so he's not quite filling out three month clothes, but we're getting there. And then Lila, on the other hand, she is nice and comfy in her newborn size clothes. Um, they're finally fitting her properly. Whereas, you know, just a couple weeks ago, um, they were way too big for her. So, um, they're both growing. So that's really good news. Anyways, that's what I have. Um, I will, I'm sure I'll be updating. I don't know if I'll do it every week or bi-weekly or if it'll just be once a month. Um, but I plan on, you know, keeping everybody updated on the babies. And obviously if you follow me on my main page, I post a lot of pictures on them just cause we have so much family, you know, that's not around and so many friends and stuff that ask for pictures. So that's where they get posted. Um, anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and a great weekend and we will talk to you later. Bye.